What is up guys, today we have a review of macOS 15 Sequoia which, which was just released around one or two hours ago and today is uh, 16 of September 2024 and let's see what it brings to us. I already have it on my MacBook Air M3 here, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of built-in memory where we can see all the highlights that are available now for macOS Sequoia Although on the Apple website we see the list of features that should be in the future. So as you see, Apple Intelligence still not here, still not in macOS Sequoia, but all the other updates are here. So let's check them out. Uh, Apple Intelligence we just keep. It will be released maybe in several months. Uh, but what we have now is uh, use your iPhone from your Mac. So yeah, we have a new app. So we connect into uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max and now it's connected. So as you see, it's working perfectly. We can open the settings. You should run it with iOS 18 to support this feature as well. Uh, so here we have iOS 18 just updated. And this feature is works, iPhone mirroring, and I think it's quite convenient to have it so you can fully uh, manage and control your iPhone from your Mac, but be careful, your iPhone should be locked at this time. So if you're using it, you cannot uh, here ch check it or uh, make a remote connection and uh, control it. But actually, yeah, it's just regular iPhone. So you just click here, you go back, you have all your settings, all your chats, you can open any messenger, any app uh, from your Mac. Actually quite convenient to have such app. Yeah, here we have actually the back button. When we click, we go back. And basically, yeah, I don't know whether you will use this feature or no, but now you have it. Although you will get notification from your iPhone on your Mac. Uh, actually, also quite convenient. And this, you need to launch this app when using uh, iPhone mirroring, then it will work. So when you connect it, uh, you will get these notifications. Uh, seamless drag and drop between devices, it will be coming later this year. So again, maybe in maybe two, three months it will be released. Okay, let's move on with other features what we have here. Uh, is easy window tiling here, which is actually working for a long time on Windows. Now it's available on Mac with what else we've got here, presenter view. So I will not show it here, but uh, you can replace a background uh, directly in your FaceTime or any other video that you're using. Uh, all right, so basically when we open the FaceTime, let's open it up, you see here, my camera is closed now, but you can have a portrait mode, studio light, it's actually reactions and change the background. You can choose from presets of the colors. You can choose from Apple, like logos from their campus. You can also select your own photo. Actually, we can you can do many functions, but actually all the other apps like Zoom, they already have it built in, so it's already uh, pre-selected here it's nice that it has it but nothing really special although for microphone mode you can say standard or voice isolation quite convenient to have it built in your laptop okay let's move on what else we've got here okay let's move on safari actually here we have quickly pull up relevant information from a site and it doesn't work now so this means it's working only for for the United States for now, so maybe in the future it will work for others, but for, for now it's useless. This feature as well, this redesigned reader also used only in the US, it's not available in other markets, but if you're in US you can test it out by yourself those features. Uh, more control over web videos, yeah that's available, that should work. Here we have more control over the web video and Web Safari detects a video on the page, video views, viewers help it to put on front and center. So this feature was also available before and I use it several times so now it's a bit more uh, working better let's say. So you have control here and you can move it. Password app, truly speaking, I, d I don't really use it as I'm not using an iPhone, but here you have, so it will work on 
Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Vision Pro and even Windows. This app can be installed. Okay, I will not open my passwords here, but actually uh, they already has, you see the security warning, Wi-Fi, passkeys and all deleted also available here. So actually um, this password is just a password manager that can be used on all your device except Android as for now, but for Windows it's also available. Mm, just regular password manager, and, um, nothing to say here, more or less move back. And for gaming, of course it will be new and upcoming games for Mac, as always they promote it, so you see all of them here that can be available so many of them are really nice and good AAA products but not that many as we expect but macbook is not playing device so it's fine to have at least something okay messages so here we have all new ways to play with a text here type with tone flare and filling Actually, what you can do is express yourself in more uh, ways than ever. Tap back with any emoji or sticker. Schedule message with a send later, also available. Let's try it out. Okay, let's see how it works. Let's update the page. So as you see what you can do in a messenger app. Okay, let's move on. Actually, you have to tap back with any emoji and sticker here, so you can express yourself in more ways than ever. Schedule messages is nothing special. Maps. You have 63 national US parks. I think it will be more in the future. So you have the trails here. Let's check it out. Let's try to find some park and find some trail here. Um, Sequoia National Forest. I think here it should definitely be Sequoia National Park. Uh, so should be some trail trails search nearby. Okay, nice. Now you can select one of the trail. For instance, here we have this trail. It's a Sidling Lake Trail hike here. So that's how it looks like. You have a mileage here or in kilometer how long it is. You can see it on the map. You can also see how many time it will take for you and up and down where you should go. Okay, let's move on later on with other safe hikes for offline, custom walking, hiking roads also available. Notes. For notes we have many changes here. Let's open it up. Audio transcripts available, so you can move your notes from the text format to audio format. Math and notes available, although highlighting collapse section. Okay, here I have already some examples here. And you can see that uh, how the header looks like, although how the mess works. 5 plus 10 equal to 15 uh, and let's try it out how it will sound 1 2 3 1 2 3 let's transcript it to text okay done and click on the recording and see here that it transcripted my voice to the text nice um, math notes transcription highlights you saw already uh, how you can highlight anything here, click here, font, spelling, grammar, layout, orientation. So actually this all was available before. And here you have the uh, different settings. And here you can highlight with a different color, your heading, and you have some more options for your text editing. Airports, so hands-free Siri interaction, I don't have them, so it's actually working and so much more. So here I have updated uh, calculator here. I don't have, okay, I have it. I thought to remove it. Let's open it up and see how it looks like. Okay, very small, but let's make it bigger. Okay, so that's it. You cannot make it bigger, I guess, but you can select out of uh, three options scientific programmer and basic so we basic convert converter here available mass notes okay 
Mass knows they just open in notes, just updated, looks similar to iPhone, nothing special. Calendar, so reminders, you can create in calendars now, photos, so collection automatically organized uh, in your library by helpful topics and sidebar. Uh, free forms, so here also some updates, I don't use it, so I will not even touch it. Privacy improved to weather, the feel like temperature appears uh, prominently near the actual temperature. You can also at your home and work location from contacts to, uh, to your list of locations. The weather app and home app as well available with some updates. Compatibility, so it will be available for iMac uh, since 2019, iMac Pro 2017 and, and later. Mac Studio from 2022, Mac Mini 2019, Mac Pro 2019, MacBook Air 2020 and later. So actually it's available for uh, some Intel devices or for MacBook Pro only from 2019. But the majority of features, of new feature, i feature will be available on MacBook M series and here have MacBook M3 Air. Uh, also some developers all right so basically that's pretty much it for today that's all what you see all the changes here actually what they also advertise in a tips app it's not many it's only three so basically what they promote is quickly lay out for workspace new home for passwords and tracked with the perfect emoji here so that's what they show Okay, that's basically pretty much it for today's review. Thank you very much for watching. I really recommend to install it and it will always bring you some fresh look, especially if you have the latest or newest MacBooks. And that's pretty much it. If you still have some questions, put in the comments below, put the thumbs up and see you next time.